Sam Fortunis. You're watching Stand Up With Sam. Today we have something fun planned. We are going to go fishing. The first thing we are going to do today is go catch some bait. So like any good captain, you got to have bait to catch the right fish. And today we are going to target sheep heads. So we want to catch some fiddler crabs because we know that sheep heads love fiddler crabs. So let's get to it. So we are coming over here to a marshy area because this is where the crabs like to live. And it's so great because they are these little crabs and uh, they live in little holes. It's um, nice and warm out today, so we should be able to see them kind of walking around in the dirt. And if you come and get pretty close here, you're going to see uh, they burrow into these little holes. We're going to press our finger on the opposite side of their hole and pull them right out. Here we have a nice male fiddler crab. Let me knock some dirt off of him. So this little fiddler crab here, as you can see, is a male because of his one big claw. The females, if we catch one of those, I'll show you, have two small claws the same size. Hey little guy, he's going to be great on my hook to catch the next big fish. I'm going to put him in my little bag. It's so funny when I'm on paddleboard trips, people see these and they say, oh look at all the baby crabs. No, they're actually full grown. They're just small crabs. So we're going to go down here and pop him right out. And this one is a female, and they will try to run away from you. And it's just not, not a clean little job. Uh, you got to be ready to kind of be in the mud. And this one, ooh, ooh, knock that off. You'll see two little claws on the front. Hey, little crab. And in he goes with our male. So if you look all throughout the grass here and the dirt, you're going to see these holes and sometimes they pop out just to take a peek at you and that's where you know they're at. So you just gently come here. You don't want to cause too much harm to your surroundings. And they're going to try to away. Ooh, he pinched me. Ow. Hey, let go. There we go. The fiddler crabs have a lifespan of about two years. Um, so that's not too much. You don't want to get the ones that are too small uh, so that they can repopulate this area. We want to make sure that we're harvesting our fiddler crabs just like our fish or anything else in this fragile ecosystem sustainably. So we just get the ones that we think are big, bigger than the small ones. You just pop them straight out of the ground. And sometimes they are just too deep for you to go. get just enough fiddler crabs. I already caught some yesterday and then we're going to meet our buddies out on the boat and go try to catch a sheep head. All right, here we are out on the bay. We've joined my friends Captain Roger Mathis and Captain Leroy Duval and we are going to try to catch a sheep head. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our little crabs that we caught earlier and add them to the ones I caught yesterday. Let's get these guys going off in here. If you want to take a peek at our fiddler crabs, we just got a little bit of sand in there so they stay alive. And they're kind of running around. Each one of those is hopefully going to catch us a nice big fish. So what we're going to do now is we've tied up to our pilings, nice and close. And uh, which one of my captains is going to help us chum up these pilings? our little fiddler crab that we caught earlier. We're just going to hook him right through the middle on our hook here. Be careful of that hook. He's still alive and he's going straight to the bottom. So if you see this line of foam right here, that is the tide line. The tide is actually coming in right now. And you can often see this if you're driving across the bridge. You notice the water changes shape on one side and the other, and you see a line of either debris or like this, sea foam. That's the tide coming in or going out. Bring them on up. Bring them on. Awesome. 
first sheep head in the boat. Little three pounder, probably. And P12 inches. So here I have our sheep head Roger just caught, and if you notice, their teeth look quite like human teeth. Uh, this makes them a little bit tricky to catch because it's easy for them to bite those fiddler crabs or whatever bait you have right off without you even noticing it. They're the only fish that I know of that have little human teeth, just like that. If you notice the side of the sheep head, it has usually four to five wide black stripes. Got him. That's the wrap. So here's our cooler full of fish that we caught today. At first we went out and got our bait, our fiddler crab, put them in our bucket, and boarded up to the boat with our buddies, and here we are. We're finishing up. If you want to get on the water and catch some sheephead with me, Captain Roger Mathis, or Captain Leroy Duvall, give me a call at 850-980-4204, or check out my website, fishforgottencoast.com. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> High five. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs>